In this video, we're going to be building an accordion with pure CSS. So if you're not sure what an accordion is, I'll give you a quick demo of what this does, and then we'll go ahead and look at building it. So we've got a uh, section just open here, and accordions are usually just used to contain uh, content within a, a specific area. You can see here that I'm just revealing content as I click, like so. So fairly, fairly straightforward. But uh, how have we done this with pure CSS? Because obviously we're reacting here with clicks and we're going to do this using a special pseudo selector which you, uh, allows us to basically take this hash part of the URL and uh, apply styles based on uh, what's been selected here. So we'll go ahead and we'll build the markup first. Um, we're also going to look at this selector in isolation just so we can understand exactly how this works. And then we'll go ahead and put this together and build the final uh, accordion. Okay, so we're not going to start entirely from scratch. I've got a couple of things already set up here, but it's nothing too tricky. The first thing I'm doing here is pulling in a style sheet from the Google Fonts API, and that's giving me this Source Sans Pro font in 400 and 600 weight. Uh, if you're not sure how to do this, just Google for Source Sans Pro Google Fonts, and you'll pretty much get uh, uh, steps that you can choose to include this on your site. And I'm just doing this just so it looks a little bit nicer when we build the accordion. Okay, so inside of here then I'm linking in a style sheet which is main.css and at the moment all I'm doing is I'm applying this font to the body of the page just so everything uh, we write within our paragraphs or our unordered list have the Source Sans Pro font. So at the moment you can imagine on our page here we've got absolutely nothing. Uh, we're just basically starting off with um, an empty page. So before we do anything, let's take a look at the target selector in CSS. And this is what's going to allow us to pull together this functionality without using JavaScript. So let's create a, a little example here. I'm going to create an anchor just so I can click something. So I'm going to say click here. Now for the href, I'm going to have this point to hash and then something. So let's just say first. Here what I'm going to do is have a paragraph and I'm just going to say this is some text and then I'm going to give this paragraph an ID of first. So let's take a look here inside of uh, our browser. We've just got a link here and this is some text. So clicking there we'll just uh, append this onto the end of the URL obviously without refreshing the page so we don't have a, a page refresh here uh, with this. So our goal here then is to click this and without refreshing the page, turn this text red. So let's take a look at how we might do that. What I'm going to do is target all paragraphs on the page, and then I'm going to use the target selector to apply a style. And that means that when this hash is present in the URL, anything with the same ID will be turned red, for example. So let's do this now. Obviously, this is a useless example in, in sort of a real life situation. So we're going to say P, and then we're going to say, oh, sorry, not after, target, and then we're going to say color red. So what this means is anything, any paragraph element, this is obviously an element selector, that is targeted. So we don't specifically define the target, we just say where the target matches. So because this is a hash of first, and this has an ID of first, this paragraph will then be turned red. So let's take a look at how this works. When I click there, that uh, text then goes red. And like I said before, we don't have a page refresh here, which is crucial to building an accordion because you don't want the page to refresh. So this is the um, solution that we're going to use to build our accordion with pure CSS. So let's get to work on building the markup. Let's get rid of what we've already done. And let's get rid of these styles as well. So for the markup, we're going to be using an unordered list to build our uh, accordion. I'm going to wrap everything in a container just because I want to limit the width of this. Our accordion by default is going to be 100% width, so it can nicely fit into any container it's placed into. So for our container then, let's go ahead and build the styles for this. Um, we want a width of 100%. That might seem a little bit odd, uh, but in this case what we're doing is then we're defining a maximum width of a pixel amount. And that just means that it will respond nicely as we move our browser window uh, and make it smaller. So now that we've done that, let's get to work on building the accordion. We're going to create an unordered list here. And we're going to give this a class of accordion. 
like so. Now within this, each of the list items is going to be the accordion um, content, if you like, or the tab at the top and the content, and we'll we'll split them out uh, into separate uh, separate parts. So let's create a list item quickly here. And we are going to create an anchor at the top of this. So this is where the user is going to click. And this is where our hash comes into place. Whatever you name the hash in this href, uh, or in the href attribute, it's going to um, link up with the actual content underneath here. So let's say first for this one, and inside of the uh, href attribute, let's say hash first, much like we looked at a moment ago. So um, we're going to call this, we're going to give this a class of accordion header just so we can target that with CSS and style it. And down here, we're going to create a div called accordion content, like so. So just a div with a class of accordion content. Now, what's important is that we add an ID attribute here to name this the same as this one, because when we click this, we want this to show. So in here, let's create a paragraph and let's just put some lorem ipsum in there. You can just go ahead and uh, find uh, some lorem ipsum generators online, or if you're using Emmet like I am, uh, you can do that within your uh, your text editor. So now that we've got that, let's take a look at it in our browser. So it looks okay, the structure's okay, um, but obviously we just need to apply some styles to this. So before we do that, let's duplicate this list item here and let's add the rest of our content. So we're gonna have three of these. This one's going to be second, and that hash is obviously going to change, otherwise we'll get muddled up. And down here, we'll have third, third, and third. So as long as they're all different, then it's gonna work properly. So now that we've done our markup, let's look at actually styling this to make it look quite nice. Um, it's gonna be very basic, but uh, you can go ahead and change these around to uh, suit you. So the accordion itself, which is, remember, just our unordered list, we want a width of 100% here. That's not going to affect anything because it's placed within our container, remember. We're going to set padding to zero and margin to zero just for the uh, reason that this is, in fact, an unordered list and it has padding and margin by default. And we're going to change the list style type to none. And that just means that the uh, bullets here will go like so. So we've got a nice looking list now. So inside of the accordion, we have accordion content. Um, in fact, let's style the header up first. So the accordion header, this is probably the uh, element with the most styles. Uh, it's going to have a display of block because at the moment we have an anchor, which is an inline block or an inline. Sorry. We're going to set some padding on this and we will set a background here of BBB. So let's take a look at how that looks at the moment. Okay, so it's already looking a little bit more like our end result. There's a few things we can just tidy up here uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. We can set the color of this to white, so the text is white. We can get rid of that text decoration, which is the underline on the links you have by default, like so. And we'll also change the font size as well to make this bigger, just so it's a little bit more prominent. And we'll also transform the text to uppercase, so we... Um, semantically have correct text, so normal case text, and then we transform it visually with CSS. And we'll add a little text shadow onto this as well. So we'll have a one pixel X and Y offset, a zero spread, and we'll use RGBA to make this black with a 0.1 on the alpha channel. So for the accordion content, this is uh, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna, by, def by default, remove the padding. I'm going to set the height to zero and I'm going to set the overflow to hidden. Now the reason I've done this is if we have any padding and we set the height to zero with an overflow hidden, we're still going to see things peek through. So with our target pseudo selector, we'll change the padding back to say 20 pixels uh, if, if that's what we want or you could change it to however, whatever you think. So at the moment we get this. Uh, in actual fact, I do need to add this margin back to the header on the bottom because that's what separates this visually from each other. You don't have to do this, but uh, feel free to leave it out otherwise. Okay, so let's just bring back um, let's just bring back our content. 
content just so we can see what we're doing here. I'm just going to alter the styles for the paragraphs within this. So down or up here, I suppose we could say accordion content P. So we're targeting paragraph elements and we'll set the margin to zero, 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 zero. And on the bottom, we'll do a 20 pixel um, pad, uh, margin on here. So there we go. So what's going to happen is when we eventually get around to uh, having an accordion selected, it's going to look like the following. So accordion content. So when an item should be shown, we're going to add a 20 pixel padding. So it'll end up looking like this. It doesn't at the moment because remember we need that height of zero. So let's get rid of this for now and let's bring this back. So using what we learned at the start of the video, we can now apply this to make these show depending on whether hash first is selected or hash second is selected or hash third is selected or however many you have in this list. So all we do down here then, and this is refreshingly simple, we just say accordion content target, much like we did with that anchor a moment ago. Oops, let's get rid of that. And then we just say height of auto, which will basically reset or override this style here and then remember, we also need to add the 20 pixel padding back in because we have a padding of zero here to help with the height. So now let's get rid of this and then hit first. And that shows because remember, first is now targeting this with an ID of first. So you can see that there. And let's just pull this away. And there we go. So we can just basically click through. It's as simple as that. So really the hardest part about this is actually styling the content itself. Now we've now completed our pure CSS accordion, but there can be complications with this depending on what else you have on your page. Obviously because we have our hash first here, if your page at all relies on other hashes being used, then this will automatically be closed. Your page probably shouldn't rely on anything with a hash, so I can't see any problem with this. But with a solution like this, there's bound to be some problems along the way. So you might want to just be careful when you are implementing this. Either way, if you are creating a very, very simple website that you don't want to include perhaps jQuery in as a dependency, then this is a really good way of doing things without requiring in heavy libraries like jQuery.